right now. Coming back home, finishing out my week. So I just wanted to uh, give you guys an update of what's been going on with me. I've been, um, I told, I said I was gonna post content and I still am. So like these videos is probably gonna be mixed up. Some old stuff, new stuff, like, but um, I wanted to give myself some time, you know, to really like, this crap and, and gain some, some knowledge, man, before I just try to start recording this stuff while I'm driving. You know, it's a lot that goes on on this road, man. It can be dangerous. So, um, yeah, man, things been going well. Um, the company, for the most part, has been treating me well. Had some issues. Hiccups, you know, uh, with trucks and stuff, man. They started me out with uh, an older Freightliner, and uh, that truck was filthy, man. Seats were filthy. Felt stuff crawling on me, all kinds of stuff, man. And I cleaned that truck, clean and clean and clean and clean that truck, man. Got it to a place where I, where I liked it, right? Then all of a sudden mechanical issues started happening and it, it was uh I did a, a regen on it for the soot that that helped for a little bit then the check engine light came on and they put the computer on it and needed exhaust filters and I was down for a whole week when that happened they put me in another truck 190 that truck was dirty too and that wasn't my truck so I was like, man, I'm only going to be in this truck for about a week. So I was like, man, forget it. I ain't worried about cleaning it or doing nothing to it. Man, that truck ain't had no governor on it, and which is which is cool, right? You think, yeah, like, no governor, you know, I can go as fast as I want to go. But my company, they have a safety policy where you can't go any faster than... They don't want you to go any faster than 75 miles per hour. So here I am with a truck. I'm getting loaded heavy. And I'm coming down these mountains on 81. Trying to keep the truck in control. The suspension was all messed up on it. The steering wheel jingling and jingling, jangling, jangling, jangling. <laughs> steering wheel can't stay still. Bruh. Come to find out at the end of the week, they like, oh, that truck's supposed to go to auction. So I'm in the truck that don't have a governor, suspension all messed up, pissed off. And I, they messed my clock up because of what happened with me switching out trucks. I stayed on duty when I switched out my trucks. Now realizing I should have went off duty Nobody tells me anything at this company, but it's all good. You got to learn on your own, man. Learn by trial and error. I end up getting stuck. I end up getting stuck in um, Tennessee. Like, damn, man. I had to do a 34-hour reset in Tennessee because it messed my clock up. Bruh. Crazy man, but like I said, all in all, things is going well. So then they put me back in 209, my original truck. I was missing that joint, right? Put me back in that joint. I'm like, yes, sir. I'm running good. I'm on a load going from Virginia down to Columbia, South Carolina, right? So I'm on the load. I'm headed down 81. About an hour, 30 minutes in, the coolant, red light comes on. Stop, stop. You know, that joint blinking. Freightliner Cascadia. That joint will stop the truck, man. You will not be able to go any further. So I'm coming up and down the mountains, going down into North Carolina. So I stop. I look. Need coolant. 
So I put cooling in it. I'm rolling again. About another hour and 30 minutes. Same thing happened. By this time, I'm in like Whitfield. If anybody knows Whitfield, Virginia, that area, ain't nothing but curvy mountains, man. So I'm mad because I ain't really know where to pull off. So I pull off again. It need more cooling. I'm like, man, what in the world, man? So I thought this time, I was like, maybe I didn't put enough cooling in this time. So this time I put in two jugs of cooling. Filled that joint up to the brim. Start driving again. Get down to like the, the tip of, like right there at the border where North Carolina and Virginia meet. Granted, I stopped and got some more cooling because I was like, man, I'm not about to be stranded on this road. So I stopped and got some more, got two more jugs of cooling at the truck stop. I'm riding, same thing, but this time there's nowhere for me to pull off. So I had to pull off like literally on the side of the road, man, like cars zooming by. I called my company like, man, I gotta do something about this. They're like, all right, well, we'll, you know, limp your way down to Charlotte, the Charlotte yard, and we'll go from there. So I limped the truck down to Charlotte, couldn't deliver the load I was on. That pissed me off, because it, you know, it messed up my mouth for, for about two days. So I'm doing my 10 hour reset at the Charlotte yard, and, and, so I get that joint down to the Charlotte yard and the joint happens again. Like, as soon as I got like, right as I'm entering into the yard, into the Charlotte yard. So, they like, we gonna get you into another truck. The truck they was about to put me in. She's like, oh yeah, nah, this truck going to auction too. I'm like, man, y'all need to get yourself together in my head, right? So finally, they like, she like, this about to be a loaner truck. This truck I'm in right now, as you can see, the Cascadia on the seats, this is a 21 Freightliner Cascadia, um, brand, almost brand new. It's got 200,000, about 200,000 on it. So she like, this just a loaner truck though. Don't, don't get too comfortable. I'm like, all right, bet. So they keep me in this truck for about a week. At the end of the week, I talked to my uh, my fleet manager, my driver manager. I'm like, what's up, what's up with this truck, man? And he thought I was talking about this truck. Nah, I'm talking about 209. That joint is still in Charlotte. I run out of the Virginia yard out of Mount Sydney. He like, oh, oh what you talking about? The, uh, the Freightliner, the, the 21? You want to stay in that truck? And I'm like, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I was actually talking about 209, but shoot. If, if, I, I would love to stay in this truck. He like, well, you know, where's 209 at? 209 is in the Charlotte yard. He like, well, let me make some phone calls and see what's going on with that truck and see if you can stay in it. Long story short, I'm staying in this truck, man. Brand new uh, 21 Cascadia, man. Almost brand new. Steering wheel is tight. Good, good, you know. Steering wheel ain't jink, jump, jump, jumping around. You fighting with the, fighting with the suspension. Suspension is tight on it. It's good, man. So, and then I told him, my company has these uh, chain account. This chain account with uh, Marshalls, where you uh unload hand unload the uh it's like like two stop in kentucky where you hand unload the uh you unload the, the pallets by with the uh pallet jack and apparently this account is like exclusive i'm like man i've been running good I'm, i asked my my uh you know my driver manager like man what's up with these uh with these touch freight accounts, man. I'm trying to get on it. So he like, oh, you you, you want to do a store run? I'm like, yeah, man. Like, what's good with it? 
So he like, we'll see what we can do for next week, but oh, see how you like it. And go from there. I'm like, bet. So he gave me the run, the first run. I said, man, this joint is too easy, man. The, the, the Going from Virginia, Mount Sydney, Virginia, out to uh, Lexington, Kentucky, where University of Kentucky is, and then Murray, Kentucky, where Murray State University is at. Man, the only, the hardest part about this run is the driving. Like, it's like a thousand, it's like 1,400 miles round trip um, from Virginia and back. But you can do it, like, so if you leave out on Sunday, you'll be back on Tuesday finishing out. And then it gave me a day. I took Wednesday. The next load wasn't ready until early Wednesday morning. So I'm back out Wednesday afternoon. It's around five or so. Got back, got back Tuesday around five or six. And I'm back out Wednesday around five or six. Um to deliver the second the second load. Same thing. Two stop Kentucky, uh, Kentucky. And you do you deliver Thursday. Leave Wednesday. Get there on Thursday. Do the first load at seven. Do the second one at two. And then head on back. Get back to Lexington on Thursday night. Do your 10 hour there. And then Shoot, shoot on back to Virginia the rest of the way like put me on that joint bro that joint is too easy man you hear me too easy for me somebody like me they like yeah so anyways I just want to give y'all a little update I mean ups and downs man I I can't say everything been sweet, um, but everybody that's you know been been following me, you know, I appreciate y'all. You know, um, so I, I just hope to keep on putting out these videos, man. And and like I say, I'm, my goal is is touch freight. I don't want to just drive. I want to do touch freight. My homeboy, MT Trucker, man, he, he like, easy money, man, easy money. You don't wanna do that touch freight, but uh, that's still a goal I got in my mind, so I'm, I'm happy right now doing this one, this chain account. And we'll see what happens from here, man. I'm gonna stick it out with uh, Crosby. Um, I'm gonna give them my time and you know, I'm not I learned with jobs in the past, you know You don't want to just jump around but um, If I'm not happy then you know, I don't mind I don't have a problem leaving But uh, I'm not gonna do that with, with Crosby. So I'm gonna get my experience and, and, and keep learning and and then we'll see what happens in six months year year and a half two years we'll see we'll see what happens but so i appreciate y'all if you watch this video all the way to the end i appreciate you watching it man and uh i'll holler at y'all man red team i'm keeping it real and i'm keeping it g remember the day i was riding on 64 crashing the grandma key no you never left my side